Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharice and I'm a mom of two that works full time. On my channel, I share my journey towards financial freedom through cash stuffing, budgeting, savings challenges, and investing. So if you would like to see how I divide the income from my last paycheck of April, stay tuned. So as I mentioned, I am doing the last paycheck of April. Yes, I'm behind and trying to catch up. Um, first and foremost, I really want to thank all of you for your congratulations and kind words regarding my grad school acceptance. If you are new, I shared um, a little while ago that I was applying to grad school and waiting to hear the decisions and I did get accepted to both the schools that I applied for. So um, right now I'm in the process of figuring out the finances. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe to see that journey. We're going to start with my cash envelopes. For a few months, I've been keeping gas and groceries in my account and just, um, you know, as I paid for gas or groceries, just use the money for my account. But today I will be stuffing those categories because I think it will be easier for me to track them since I use the rollover from those categories for challenges. So, Today, gas is going to get $20. I just filled up my tank and I work from home um, this coming week, so I won't be driving too much. So we'll see, cause you know, these gas prices are crazy. Groceries is going to get $80. So let's do three 20s. And let's just do four twenties. And for anybody that's new to cash stuffing and budgeting, these are my daily, you know, spending envelopes that I'm stuffing. And um, yeah, just take the money out. Oops. And I just take the money out as needed. Toiletries slash household is going to get $20. Spending is going to get 20 and that's kind of already gone. I'll tell you about that later. This is actually for my kids. I'm not giving myself any money this time because I do have a Visa gift card and I just want to try to use that as opposed to spending money. So originally for eating out, I said I was going to do $20, not remembering that this is Mother's Day weekend. I have dinner scheduled with a friend and a little bit woke up this morning talking about let's go out for breakfast. So me and her did go out for breakfast, which was really nice. Um, it was nice to, you know, spend some alone time with her. We went to the park after y'all. She went to two different parks today. Like she got out, out today. So... Um, this spending is for them. I took her out to breakfast. It really wasn't that expensive. I just bought her a pancake breakfast and I just drank some tea because I don't really eat breakfast. Um, I do intermittent fasting, so I don't really eat breakfast. Going off on a tangent. Anyway, eating out is going to get $150. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is 120. Let's do one. 40 and let's do two fives so we have 20 40 60 80 100 120 40 45 150 she wants to say hi you guys hello so that is it for my cash envelope Let's move on to our sinking funds. So first we'll be starting off with back to school. I took a little bit out of back to school because, um, you know, project, teacher cards for um, T3 
Teacher Appreciation Week. Shout out to all the teachers out there. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you do. I know that you don't get enough appreciation and just thank you. So for back to school, we are going to add $5. And back to school now has 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, and 37. Beauty is going to get $10. Um, let's do two fives. Beauty now has $30. Black Friday is going to get $5. So now it has 10, 15, $20. Um, Blessings is going to get $5 as well. Blessings now has 5, 10, 13, sorry, 13, girl, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Car maintenance is going to get $10. Car maintenance now has 100, oops, 100, 200, 220, 30, 31, 32. My check engine light just came on and um, I know that I'll be using this towards that. Clothes is going to get $10, $30. I did buy a lot of stuff for me and for the kids. Um, from Gap and Old Navy, so I do need to pay that card off by the 26th, so I will be stuck in that 25th. Family fun will be getting $5. Man, we have some play dates planned, so I do want to stack this up. Family fun has 20, 40, 45, 46. If you guys hear noise in the background, that is my daughter. She's doing some crafts in the background. And gifts is going to get $25. I kind of mentioned in my other video how originally I wanted this envelope to be for Christmas and just, you know, all the gifts. But I haven't been able to keep it full. Every time I turn around, I'm pulling money out of here for gifts, which is fine. I'm glad I have the money, but I do want to start saving for Christmas. So I decided that I'm going to be doing a um, Christmas challenge from the Scratch Off book from Hands and Bands. So stay tuned for that. Um, coming up, that will be added to my challenges, which I usually do in a separate video. Next, we have grad school. And grad school is getting $20. Grad school now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205. Invisalign is going to get five dollars. Trying to make sure I have enough fives left. So Invisalign now has 100, 110, 15, and 120. Let's see. So I'm gonna switch out this 20 because 
I might need a few small bills later on for my savings challenges. So 120. Medical is going to get $10. So medical now has 150, 200, and 210. My envelope is going to get five dollars. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. I'm going, actually, I'm gonna leave some small bills in here. Um, yeah. Some envelopes, I like to leave small bills. It's just easier when I need to pull the money out. Support is going to get $5. And we now have 20, 40, 45, and 50. And this is for supporting small businesses. I have been looking on Etsy because I do want to get some new cash envelopes. And there's some other businesses that I've been browsing. Thing one is going to get $30. So let's do... Um, a 20... Do I need this 10? I do. Thirty. Um, let's see. Actually, let's switch out these two tins. Twenty. Okay. So thing one now has fifty, one hundred, one twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. 20, 40, 45. She has $245. Thing two has nothing. She's going to get $50. And um, just an FYI, this is not for their savings. Their savings come straight out of my checks. These are for the different activities they're in, allowance, just spending money, and the amounts are different because their activities cost different amounts. Vacation has a lonely $5 and we are going to add $10 so that we now have $15. So with $15, I'm not going nowhere soon. Now let's move on to our next binder, which is our future house. If you're new, this binder is full of prop money. I do not want to keep these large amounts around the house and I would rather have them in my high yield savings account where I can earn interest. One second, let me set my tea. Okay. So first month bills is capped at $500. Those are just the bills for when I first move in, you know, to get stuff cut on. Um, you know, things like that. Furniture is going to get $5. I'm only stuffing three of these envelopes because all the other envelopes are capped and they're all getting $5. I keep the prop five separate from the real five because I do not want to get confused. So furniture now has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 470, 490, 500, 510, 515, which is pretty good. I will show the account on the screen somewhere. Groceries is capped at 150. That is for my first grocery trip. Home repairs is going to get $5. This one has no cap. I'm just going to keep adding to it. So, actually it's the same for... So, 
Home repairs has 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 370, 380, 385, 390. Home inspection is also going to get $5. So home inspection now has 100, 200, oops, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 5, 10, 5, oh, let me start over. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 505, 5, 10, 15. $515. And household items, which are items that I will need to buy for around the house, is capped at $500. Ooh, I forgot to show you guys. So, Bath and Body Works had a sale, a candle sale, and I love picking up their candles during the sales because they make great gifts year round. So let me show you some of the ones I got. This is white tea and sage. It's like a relaxing type of scent, very subtle. I got hibiscus waterfalls. Mm, this one just smells so yummy. Let me see. I got sweet red mango. It smells like mango. And I also got Sunwatch Citrus. This is another citrusy one. The other citrusy one called Lemon Cello, Lemon Cello, something like that, is one of my favorites. So I just know I had to get that one. So like I said, I'm gonna either give these out during the year or just keep most of them for myself. I don't know. I wanted to get matching room sprays. Um, I know I was watching Budgets with Beth one day and she was talking about how she bought the candles and bought the room spray that matches them and gave that away as gifts unfortunately i couldn't find the scents to match those candles because that would have been a cute little gift for me you know to give away to people so i will stay on the lookout but yeah stay on the lookout for those bath and body Works sales because they had this one and then they had another one last week on the one wick candles which are also like pretty cool i ended up um giving one of those to one of um my kids teacher so yeah um bath and body works so anyway thank all of you for watching i appreciate your support if you are not subscribed please do consider subscribing it does help my channel happy mother's day to all of the mothers out there um you are appreciated and if you have a complicated relationship with your mother or if your mother has gained her wings i am sending you hugs um down in the comments leave your favorite song about mamas I know my favorite, and this song is so cute. It's called Mama by Lunch Money Lewis. It's a really cute song. Um, I know a few other songs. There's Dear Mama by Tupac, and um, Mama by Boys to Men from the Sofa movie. So anyway, yeah, leave your favorite song about mamas in the, in the um, comments. And on that note, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.